Hello everyone, thanks for stopping by, Spirit and Me, 1111. It's your girl Stardust1111 here to do your forecast, love, finance, um, career, whatever comes out here to tell the truth. For the sign of Libra for May 2020. I want to mainly know in this reading how do they feel about Libra. Libra is the sign of partnerships. You know, duality, balance, and harmony, and it's also known as the zodiac diplomat. All right, Libra is an air sign, so this reading may also resonate with the Gemini or Aquarius as well, as air is your element. I have your first card here is Aquarius, air energy. Okay, your Aquarius energy here is the energy to um, it's freedom, kind, and you know, idealistic technological and rebellious okay these areas in your life are coming up or this can be a sign that you are dealing with i like to pull some of these planets cards sometimes the astrology cards just to get a little look into what's going on because we all have a little bit of every sign in us at some placement in our zodiac chart at some point okay let me get one more card spirits Mercury. <laughs> okay, so we have Aquarius, Leo, and Mercury. These areas are coming up in your life, and let's see why. With um, the Aquarian energy, like you could be dealing with this sign, or some of you are probably working in the IT field or science. Um, this is about like taking risk and going out there, taking leaps of faith. It represents the Fool and the Major Arcana card. Um, it represents um, new starts here. Aquarians are very sharp thinkers and very quick thinkers. At that, um, that area of your life is being activated right now. So you also have the Leo card here, Libra. And the Leo is ruled by the sun, right? So it's about your area of life, which you like to be in the spotlight. You like to have fun, being creative, taking pride in the things that you create, right? And the energy is flamboyant, dramatic, proud, and passionate. It focuses on the importance of self-belief, you know? And Mercury here, that's Gemini and Virgo energy. So this is about communication. Um, how you think, write, talk, and travel here. Is also coming up so some of you guys are going to be having an opportunity to travel to work on um, yourselves in your career if you are in the IT field then you're going to be traveling for work if you are a Leo and you're someone that deals with um, anything in show business here with Mercury showing up as well and Leo this is the Sun in um, Virgo as well as Gemini, very communicative energy here. So some of you guys are definitely artists, are in the spotlight here. Some of you guys are screenwriters, possibly. Leo rules kids, so some of you could have child stars in your family here, all right? Someone that is wise above their years here with the Aquarian card here, right? Very intelligent, intellectual, people and connections with that card. So I want to get you guys an energy oracle card to see what other messages spirit has here some of you guys are definitely um, meant to be speakers or professional writers i'm hearing screenwriters and child stars here that leo card if you look at the picture of the sun um a, a lot of the tarot decks depicts the sun with a picture of a child riding on the back of like um, a horse or a, a unicorn or some other really really beautiful creature it's about your kids it's about what you place your value on what you're passionate about and the things that you want to create with mercury here with the leo card communicating to me that someone has a child star in their family definitely and for sure all right okay what messages do we have here from the purple psychic tarot oracle some of you temptation 15 this is devil energy that is capricorn energy here so with temptation here, I see that you guys can be fighting addictions here, or you could be dealing with someone that is codependent, that has a codependency on you. Again, like addictions, it could be drug or alcohol abuse, so right, it can be addicted to you. It could be sexual addictions. This could be you being addicted to work or something that you take a lot of pride in, like the Leo here, very proud, like the lion, right? Um, something you take a lot of pride in. Let's find out more for you another oracle message from the psychic tarot. 
the uh, Oracle message for the lovely Libras. Throat chakra again. Oh my goodness. This is just too beautiful, guys. Mercury and the throat chakra here is all about speaking. It's about your voice. It's about being heard. It's being activated here. And you have both of these cards here. This is definitely for sure telling me that some of you guys are definitely definitely in the creative arts some of you are artists are singers are performers performers <laughs> this could be any type of public eye something in the public here with leo with the sun energy here it's definitely front and center you definitely are in the public eye or you are meant to be and this is something the spirit is letting you know right now where we stand let me get another pod for my cards here for you guys I have so many, but I'm really trying to make room so you guys can see your tarot. Yeah, so how you think communicate and travel right now? Some of you guys need to speak up or there's probably a lack in communication here. Um, you know, not speaking your truths and not speaking up for yourself or what you are wanting in your life right now could uh, put you in that position of um, the codependency type of energy. If you are too afraid to speak up to those around you in fear of losing them, then you are codependent on that person and their energy and you're not standing in your power. The Leo is about strength. It's about being strong and standing in your power. So some of you need that activation in your life at this point right now. All right. Let's go into the tarot for the lovely Libra. And with Libra, energy here is very, very, very indicative to the legal personality not wanting to speak your truth holding back because you're too afraid to you know hurt the next person or what they may say you want to stay on everybody's good side here you want to be the balance and the peacekeeper so you're going to keep a lot of things to yourself and that's going to create um a miscommunication of your needs and it's going to put you in a place in a position that you are submitting to other people's wills in your life and not serving your own purposes okay that's what i'm getting strongly here for you libras what messages do we have from the tarot for the Libras spirit? Your first card that came up, Knight of Pentacles here. I'm not going to read reversals. I had that in reversal. That could have been my fault. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we have Justice. That is you, Libra, your card. So again, this is about justice and balancing the scales here in your life. What do you see fit for yourself, Libra? Speaking your truth, being fair and just to those around you and knowing that a win is coming in your favor. That's something, a situation that is not serving you. What we're going to find out with the tarot. Okay, let me cut for you guys. So let me get that justice back. So you guys are dealing with a Virgo Taurus Capricorn with the King of Pentacles here. Someone that wants to offer something solid. Come your way with that. Okay. Solid, tangible offer. The Hierophant here, that's Taurus Energy, Commitment with Libra and Commitment and the Justice card. Someone can be getting married <laughs> to a Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Someone that wants to come your way and offer you something really solid and tangible. Someone that is pretty much waiting and watching you right now in your glory and your shine. Do your thing right now because they see you as standing in your power as the Leo here. You are becoming someone that you are meant and destined to be. And that is giving this person a whole new outlook on you and moving forward and coming towards you. All right, with the message. This person wants to offer you commitment here. They see you as someone they can take serious. Religious factors may be playing a part here. And you and your person's um, communication with one another right now at this point. The Hierophant here is a spiritual teacher here. So you could be learning life lessons through this person. Or this person could have soul ties to you. All right. Eight of Swords. Air Energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn here with this card. Also for the Earth Signs. So the Eight of Swords here, it's about mental imprisonment, holding yourself back and being in fear. You know, you're coming from a place of fear right now. You're in your head about a situation and you're creating a lot of anxiety for yourself and worry and stress, but it's all in your head. It's all in how you look at the situation and over worrying yourself, overthinking the situation too much, right? Three of Wands here is about waiting for your ships to come in, but look into the long call, look into the future. Your King of Pentacles is set out for looking towards the future this person is setting his or herself up for the future and something very long term here something solid something tangible and something very stable with that earth energy with that pentacles type of energy and someone who is um could be in an entrepreneurial situation um or it could be a leader 
of the company, at the head of the company that they work for. Your magician here is, again, Mercury energy. We have this energy really strong here, guys. The magician here is Gemini, as well as Virgo. So someone here is definitely manifesting a connection with a soul partner here that is driven by the stars divinely towards you. And it is going to require for you to stand in your power and to speak your truth, to stand in your power. Guys, this is about having all the tools that you need, the skills, the abilities right now at your disposal to manifest your best life moving forward. So those things and steps that you want to take, the things that you want to do, think of this as creating a life by design and not by default because you are infinite here. And then you have Venus here in the back of the magician. This is telling me what this front and center in this magician's mind here is love, is stability, and finances here. All right, Venus being the planet of that. The goddess of love, of beauty, coming into harmony with justice. It's very, very beautiful. Then you have the chariot, Cancerian energy. This is about just going forward, coming in communication. Someone is communicating towards you. This could be taking a trip or travel or someone coming towards you or your situation. Um, I need to get clarifying some more for you Libras, spirits. What messages do you want to give for the Libras, guys? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Information is down below on how to do that. Your first card is the devil. We have the devil here twice. That is Capricorn energy here. Yeah, guys, we have the devil here twice. This is telling me that someone is very obsessed with you. Someone is really hell bent on this connection, on coming towards you and is manifesting it. And this person's probably thinking about you a lot and they just want to come in right now. They want to come charging in. This person here is so patient though. This King of Pentacles, he is so patient and will wait and wait and wait it out. But inside, he wants to come towards you. He wants to come charging in. This person is very, very much obsessed with you and is watching you. Any other messages? <laughs> Knight of Wands just jumped out right on top of the chariot. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys how it landed. And I'm taking that next card. Oh, baby. Ace of Cups. Yes. Okay, this is how this card came right out. It landed like that. <laughs> so you have your Knight of Wands landing right on top of your chariot for some of you guys. That's Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So this person probably could have had a reputation of being the player in the past. And, you know, at this point, this person is very passionate about you and has tunnel vision for you. It's coming towards you. Knights are about movement and taking action. This person is coming right in. Very, very impulsive energy. Younger person. It could be a young person's energy. This person has a lot of energy towards you and passion. Ace of Cups here says that there's a lot of love in this connection. This person really, really loves you or you love them or there's a possibility for love to grow abundantly here in this connection with your person. All right. Well, and we have Ten of Swords here and I don't see the other card that landed on its face. What other messages do we have? And I'm still going to clarify. I'm pulling more cards than I usually do here because today I just feel like telling stories for tarot. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, I got the... Ace of Cups, there's a lot of love. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here. You got Ten of Swords here. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It's about something ending, something having had come to an end. Some of you guys can be overcoming major addictions here with the devil here twice. Something coming to an end. Somebody could have walked away from addictions to manifest this connection because you're so much in love with your person. You're being patient right now. Your King of Pentacles is being patient. You can be dealing with a Sagittarius here with the Temperance energy. This is about being patient, right? That's all the universe is asking. That's all this situation requires for. Um, I'm going to get you guys Romance Angels and a couple Kipper and Oracle and get right on over to Vimeo to clarify for you guys. Some of you seeing here that something has ended. Your Eight of Swords is telling me that you're really hurting in your head about something that has ended. But there is a possibility for love. The situation you came out of and you are waiting for a person trying to manifest a connection back with this person, it's not serving you. Something else is coming in and is on its way to you. It's going to be tangible. You're going to have your justice served to you for the situation that didn't serve you well before in the past. 
All right, karmic lessons learned with, with the hierophant here. You've learned a strong karmic lesson from this experience and this person. And now all you have to do is be patient and wait for your ships to come in because the universe is working behind the scenes to help you create a life by design and not by default because you've been created from a place of low vibrations and default in the past is what I'm getting from my spirit team over here. What messages do we have? Retreat. Stay optimistic about your love life. So retreat is, it's time to disconnect from the world. Positive and stay optimistic about your love life. Reads positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Manifestations, knowing that everything you listen to, you read, you see, you think about yourself and you speak is becoming a part of your experience. So be careful, watch your words. In the beginning was the word. True love. True love here. Ace of Cups and true love. This person really, really loves you and wants that connection with you. Ace of Cups. Beautiful. All right. Let's get a couple Kipper Tarot. Oracle. Always call this deck Tarot. <laughs> get a couple of Kipper Oracle cards here. You guys want to come out? Ooh, official person. Yeah. Well, I get Aries energy off of that so strong. And this card doesn't tell you signs or anything. It doesn't have elements. But I'm very visual here with the pictures. And this official person. And occupation. Um, this person loves their job. This person loves their job and is an official person. Is a very important person where they are and where they stand. There could be someone in the service that's returning home that's coming to you. Um, this person could be taking you on a vacation, but this person is very significant in your experience and in your life. And standing up, come and take an action. King of Pentacles type of energy. That's grown, grown, grown man energy here, you know? So I'm going to get. Another Kipper Oracle card for you guys. And then get on over to Vimeo and get clarifying. What messages do we have for the Libra and for their spread here, their person? And retreat the card. Um, this could be someone possibly could want to propose to you. Um, a coffin here. A situation or something that is totally dead to you. Someone could have potentially ghosted you. But something in your experience is totally over with this. Ten of Swords energy here. And the coffin here. A connection, a situation with someone you've dealt with in the past is over. It's time to let it go. Give it a funeral with the coffin being here. And move on. Endings bring beautiful. Beautiful. Must I say beautiful again? New beginnings, Libra. In your experience. Trust and have faith in that. That's what the universe wants you to know. Any more messages for Libra? One more. Journey. So, you guys are taking a journey here. This could be you with your person taking that journey, taking a trip. And I do believe that. Where's that card go? Mm hmm. I cannot find it. Here you go, chariot. <laughs> Taking a journey on your chariot here. Some of you guys are definitely moving, moving, changing residences here. You could be moving in with your person or them with you or you traveling to be with them. That Knight of Wands journey and chariot energy. There's a lot of movement going on here. It's going to be someone that you met while traveling. All right. So I'm going to get you guys, okay, I haven't done a energy oracle card here for you guys. And then I'm going to get over to Vimeo, guys, and clarify for you, for your spread. So, staying optimistic about your love life, getting over what's over, coming out of a place of fear and worry and stressing. From a situation that has ended because it's over. And for some of you, that looks like overcoming addictions, finding self-love, time to love yourself, working harder on yourself, your dreams, and your you know, aspirations, what you aspire for, what you aspire to be, what you want to believe. Um, I say believe. <laughs> be. <laughs> Third chakra, Archangel. Camille. Let's pronounce that right. Let's do 37 here. Okay, the powerful Archangel Kamio is holding a beautiful sphere of golden light at the solar plexus, which is the location of your third chakra and the center of your life force energy. The issues here revolve around emotions of desire and your personal energy. 
when the card appears upright it indicates that an increased enthusiasm is present or soon to be on its way leo energy okay being in the sun that burst of energy that vitality right this is a great time to move toward the competition to the completion jeez what's wrong with me today i need help don't find it y'all i'm just kidding <laughs> ah, okay toward the completion of your desires your life force is vibrating with power and resonance and your soul is calling you to direct your energy in a focused purposeful manner this angel of power is with you now so go for it Ooh, i like that go for it spirit spirit thank you all right guys i want another energy oracle obviously for you guys all right Ooh, there you go spirit there we go okay what we got here walking away walking away from things that no longer serve you allowing that that has ended and is over to be over being okay with that coming out of your head about it rethinking your situation finding the clarity that you need and letting the universe help you restore balance to a very unbalanced situation instead of events that have taken place in your life you have so much balance here with your own energy as the libra and your temperance is here to reassure you that the universe is on your side the universe does have your back and wants you to stay optimistic about your connection okay so i'm going to be going right over to vimeo right now to do the extended i'm going to explore what's at hand past influences what to ponder on and what to do for your connection with your person thank you all don't forget like share subscribe hit the bell notification if you'd like to be notified the next time i upload content to my youtube channel thank you all so much namaste my loves